Hey, what's going on, everybody? This is Theodore Campbell once again, and I have another video for you guys. Today's video is the Prevost X345 Coach, and the livery is Boat Bus. Now, a lot of people probably don't know about Boat Bus because they wasn't they wasn't really a large company as far as nationwide, but um, they're pretty much known in the Northeast area. And they did try to uh, branch out into area other areas like Seattle and stuff like that. But pretty much they got their start in the Northeast. Uh, the cool thing about Boat Bus is it actually, and you know, when I do my videos, I say that certain companies have a, a special spot in my heart. Well, this company actually does too because I actually drove for them. Now, I only drove for them for I would say less than a year. I didn't leave them because they was a bad company. It just wasn't a fit for me. Me personally, I like driving charters. I like doing private tours. And this is more of a public transportation type of um, commuter or line run type of company. So I did for a little while just to test it out, you know, I'm going to be honest with you. I kind of went with them because they had some pretty buses. <laughs> uh, I mean, it was a pretty coach. When they came out, they really set the standard for line run when they came out. And they had some beautiful coaches. Um, most of their fleet was Prevost X345s. And um, they were absolutely beautiful coaches. Um, so I went over there. Like I said, I was there for less than a year. Um, uh, it just didn't fit for me. I wanted to do charter and more private type stuff. So that's why I left. So let's get into the actual bus. Again, this is pretty much your normal Prevost boxing for iconic replicas. I think it even says bolt bus at the bottom. 187 scale Prevost X345 coach bolt bus. So... It's your normal box for a Prevost from Iconic Replicas. So we're not going to go go too much detail into that. So let's pull the actual bus out. Let's put that away. And as you see, of course, Iconic Replicas always does a wonderful job. With the actual details of the coach, bus is absolutely beautiful. Do a quick spin around. Now, as you see, the destination sign says, let me see, bolt for a buck. That's actually what it did say on the actual bus. But it was actually a destination sign that changed. So it would say Washington, because we pretty much serve New York City, Washington, D.C., Philadelphia, and Boston when it first started. Now, like I said, it branched out to other places, but um, it would flash Washington, and then it would flash back to Boat for a Buck because they had these little... I'm not... I'm going to be careful how I say gimmick, but they had these little deals where certain people were able to book online and actually get a ticket for a buck. So that's why it's always called boat for a buck because, and again, don't, don't, please don't hold me to this. I'm just going off of memory and this was almost 10 years ago. I believe that every coach had one seat on the bus that was worth a dollar. So that's why when you see the boat for a buck, that it was kind of sort of a gimmick where certain people could actually ride the boat bus for one dollar but believe me that wasn't that was not the norm that's my if the bus holds 50 people it might be one person out of 50 per people that got that seat for a dollar so let's make that clear so again iconic replicas did a wonderful job now let me make this clear i actually did paint the roof right there myself because that was white i didn't uh i'm i'm just a a stick 
a stipula for detail and I didn't think that looked right. And I actually painted the top part of that bumper because when you see the picture, I'm about to show you actually picture of the boat bus, that top part of the bumper was not orange. And when you buy this bus, that part is orange. And it kind of set me off a little bit. And I was like, nah, that's not how the actual bus looked. But that's not a knock at um, Iconic Replicas or Awesome Diecast. They do their best and they do a wonderful job. But to me, it wasn't 100% accurate. Now, I'm going to actually show you a picture. And I actually tried this on the other video and it turned out great. So let's see if it looks good. This is my tablet. So I'm showing you. This is the actual real bus in real life. And as you see, if you can see, let me, or oh, I'll push something. You see where my thumb is, that top part of the bumper is black. That part is not orange. So that's why when I bought my boat bus, I painted that top part black too. When you get it out the box, that part is orange. And it's not, as you see, this is the real bus. It's not accurate. Again, I'm not knocking them, but, you know, it just... Now, maybe they did that because some of the, the newer boat buses that came off the line might have been orange. Because you remember, I haven't drove a boat bus for years. But this is one of the original boat buses. Because you see, the number says 0800. That's literally the first bus that came off the line for boat bus um 800 was one of the first it was a zf transmission most of the buses that first came off the line for boat bus were zf transmission buses the later ones were um regular allison transmission and for the people that, that don't know that the zf transmission was a 12 speed and uh uh Allison was a six speed. So, and if you don't know what that means, a 12 speed is pretty much like a automatic bus that kind of drives like a stick, even though you're not physically switching the gears, it's 12 gears. So it shifts kind of like a stick. So the six speed sh shifts a little bit smoother, but um, you get what I'm saying. So, Boat Bus also has some D4500. Now, this is the crazy part about Boat. Let me give you a little bit of history for you guys that don't know. They were actually a company that was made trying to go after the Chinese industry. Now, I'm not trying to make this about a racial thing, but the Chinese buses were coming in New York City charging dirt cheap prices to pretty much knock out gray. I, well, let me not say that that quite way they wasn't trying to knock out greyhound but they was trying to undercut them so they was making these prices where it was dirt cheap way cheaper than greyhound so a lot of people was actually going to these particular vendors and i'm sorry to say it but most of them were chinese companies and the prices were dirt cheap so greyhound came out i want to say I'm trying to think of the right way to say it. There was a particular person who came out who worked for Greyhound. He decided to make his own company. And he was affiliated with Greyhound to make a company to try to, I would say, pretty much have competition with these companies with these low prices. But he, he was affiliated with Greyhound, so... He was able to use their library. So a lot of people don't know. Let me see if I can see it here. Let me see. Come on, camera. If you can see that right there, it says Operator Greyhound. See, a lot of people don't know that. They see this boat bus big on the side, but boat bus was actually running under Greyhound's rights. Now, a lot of people don't know this either, but... Greyhound, it was actually a partner deal shit, uh, uh, a partner deal between Greyhound and Peter Pan, which was a company out of Springfield, Massachusetts. They both was pretty much sick of these 
smaller vendors coming up with these dirt cheap prices to knock out Greyhound and Peter Pan, Peter Pan prices. So they kind of came into partnership to kind of knock these people out. And a lot of people don't know that Peter Pan and Greyhound got together, together not to make Boat Bus, but they helped Boat Bus to come into the picture to not, you know, what was going on with these smaller vendors, AKA the Chinese company. Now, most of the buses that were pre-rolls, most of them were buses supplied by Greyhound. Now, when you get into the 4505s, like this bus right here, most of those buses were supplied by Peter Pan. See, a lot of people don't know that. I know that because I worked for them. Now, if you want to challenge my information, that's fine. But I worked there and I kind of seen the inside of politics and the Prevost were pretty much owned by Greyhound, as you see for yourself as the on the actual coach. Let me see. Zoom in again. Come on, camera. Come on. Greyhound. But these 4505s, 4505 MCIs were supplied by Peter Pan. And matter of fact, anybody who worked for Boat Bus, they will tell you those 4505s were operated mostly out of the Boston terminal because they were affiliated with Springfield, Massachusetts terminal. And if you actually drove one of those coaches, the inside of the coach was actually green, meaning the interior, because that's normally the colors that Peter Pan operates for their coaches. In matter of fact, let me see. Since I got this right here, let me see. I got my um tablet right here. Um, let me know if you guys like me posting pictures from my tablet, cause that can kind of give you a little bit of a perspective, a little bit better. So, as you see, this is Peter Pan right there. As you see, their colors are green. Now, let me see if I can get a picture in the interior. This is the inside of a Peter Pan bus. You see how it's green? Well, them 4505s that I showed you before had the boat bus look just like this, but the inside of the bus looked just like that green Peter, uh, Peter Pan coach. So it was pretty much a partnership that they came up with to help Boat Bus. And I'm not going to say that they own Boat Bus, but it was a collaboration of a whole bunch of different entities to try to knock these smaller vendors with coming out with these dirt cheap prices. And that's pretty much how Boat Bus came along. I hope that was some pretty good information. Hopefully you learned something. If you disagree with anything that I'm saying, you can get in the comics and we can have a conversation about it. But like I said, I worked for Boat Bus myself back in 2011. So I saw a lot of the inside dealing. So I'm just giving you that information. Now, unfortunately, I'm sorry to say this, Boat Bus itself is actually out of business. Um, um I, I heard some talking a long time time ago about that and um it, it kind of shocked me a little bit i'm 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 stalling a little bit because i'm actually trying to find the article because it was online i'm trying to use my tablet um show you the article see if i can find it let me see if i can find it real quick Let's see. Ya. Come on, come on, come on, come on. I should have planned this a little bit better. I should have planned this a little bit better. 
Well, as you see right here, it says Boat Bus Affordable Bus Service that would ferry, what does it say? Service the Wood Ferry Portlands as far as north as Vancouver has shut down indefinitely. Now, they're talking about over there on the West Coast, but as you see, it sh Boat Bus shut down indefinitely. So that's not just over there in Vancouver on the West Coast. But they shut down all together. Matter of fact, I still drive for a living. And I literally saw a boat bus uh, running a Greyhound schedule here in North Carolina. Because pretty much Greyhound, like I said, you remember I showed you Greyhound had the name on the side. They're pretty much taking the bus back because it's under their name. And they're running them under Greyhound schedules. Now, they'll probably get the bus repainted or take the wrap off. I don't know what they're going to do, but boat bus is no more. So, my suggestion for you guys, and I'm not, this video is already at 16 minutes, which is longer than most of my videos. So, my suggestion for you guys is anybody who collect iconic replicas or awesome die casts or any of these buses, I suggest if you can find one, Get one of these because this is a collector's item. This company is no more. So it's your best bet to grab one while you can. They are no longer in existence. It's a beautiful bus, nice paint job or wrap or whatever they did. Grab it while you can because this company is no longer. This is now part of bus history. So once again... This is Theodore Campbell. Uh, hit the like, share, and subscribe. Get in the comments. Let me know what you think about this video. Uh, let me know what you think or what you want me to review as far as model buses. Maybe I could find it. Maybe I already have it in my collection. But let me know. And I will talk to you guys later. later. Hope you like this video.